Hello everyone and welcome to part 2 of the modular weapon system tutorial. So the last part was kind of long because we needed to do a lot of setup, but from now on forth I'm gonna try to make these parts as short as possible. And this part we're basically just gonna be importing a few packages. Uh, download links for uh, all of these will be available in the description. So let's start off by importing the first person controller package this is a first person controller that I have designed it's also a modular system you can use your own first person controller for this tutorial but uh, I would still recommend you to use this one just for the sake of uh, soundly following the tutorial uh, and uh, uh, this uh, first person controller also modifies your input manager settings and the tag manager I'll go over those changes as well as soon as we're finished with importing. You can see that also we have uh, an error over here and that's because we need to import this Unity package over here, the U collections. It's a uh, Unity package manager package and you can install it right from this uh, URL basically. You just go into Unity, open up your package manager which is from the window over here, package manager click on the plus sign, add from get URL, paste the URL and add in dot get at the end and just hit enter. And uh, for this to work, you need the git software installed on your system, by the way, which is uh, this for here, the git bash and the git GUI, not the GitHub desktop, that won't work alone. Uh, anyways, once we're done with installing it, we won't have any errors anymore and we're off to the races. So first person controller, this is also a modular first person controller. Comes with a, a test scene over here where you can test all of the uh, features. Uh, anyways, let's go over the modifications to the input manager and the tag manager. Uh, for the input manager, we can see that we have modifications for the mouse delta X, which is it's basically the same thing as the mouse X setting that comes by default with Unity except that the sensitivity is set to 1, I like it uh, that way. And we also have bindings for the uh, gamepad controls, you know, left stick, right trigger, and all of that. And for the tag manager, we have two new layers, the player layer and the first person view layers. And I'm going over these modifications just in case something wrong happens with the import and these modifications don't happen in your project, you can just you know, add them in manually. Hopefully you won't have to do that, but just in case. Anyways, we can try out the first person controller in this test zone area. As you can see, it's pretty feature rich. You can double jump, you can crouch prone, you can lean, all of that jazz. It's a uh, pretty decent. Uh, also, like I said, this weapon system will be uh, it will, you will be able to use this basically for third person games to all sorts of games but for this tutorial series I'm gonna be focusing on first person games because uh, that's the stuff that I'm more familiar with so let's import the mp5k model this is just a, a weapon model it's from the uh, it's ripped from the Battlefield 3 game, I think, so you shouldn't use it in a commercial project, but for learning purposes, it should be decent enough. It's a nice textured model, pretty nice and simple. So let's start off by opening up our scene in congestion with test zone scene. What I'm trying to do is to just copy the test zone world which is uh, this thing over here, the world game object. Copy it into our scene. Uh, sorry, we need to unload the test zone first. Unload and then copy it into our scene. And there we go, we have the test zone in our scene. We can test with that. Let's remove this test zone scene. And we have a first person controller prefab just drag it into the scene, double click to go near that, and there it is. So, let's start off basically by merging our player and our first person control. So, move the player script into the first person controller, game object over here, 
open up the pivot anchor camera this is the main camera the uh, first person controller there it is we're gonna have our weapons be under that camera so we can just copy this weapons or, uh, or actually we can create an empty game object call it weapon this is gonna hold all of our weapons we're gonna copy this weapon over here and let's name it something like uh, mp5k because this this is the mp5k weapon and from here on out we don't need the old player game object we can just delete that I'm gonna do a little bit of modification over here select the mp5k game object you can see it's uh, offset it a little bit from the uh, first person controller just right click on the transform click reset and there we go it's reset and now if we run and play we can go around and hit stuff that's facing our camera let's import the model of the mp5k just drag that model or actually before dragging it what I like to do is to create an empty game object call it the pivot this is going to be the pivot of the weapons sway and head bob and all of that effects in the future uh, I'm getting a little bit ahead of myself, but it's nice to uh, have a lot of preparations for this. Basically, just uh, drag the MP5K model under the pivot, and from here we can modify our weapon's position so that it looks decent in a first-person view. We're gonna modify the weapon's position by moving the pivot instead of moving the weapon model just move the pivot put it under a decent position and uh, that's a decent looking position you can see it looks a little bit weird because the uh, FOV of the first person controller is kind of high the FOV for this camera is 90 I believe yes 90 it's a little bit high for a first person controller weapon view as you can see some games have this feature some uh, some games use another method which is what I'm going to be doing which is just basically having two cameras one rendering at a lower FOV that basically only renders the weapon and uh, that's what I'm gonna be doing in this tutorial under the weapons game object let's call this weapons game object sorry uh, create an empty camera delete the audio listener from that we don't need that have it uh, at the default FOV of 60 put the clear flag to depth only put the calling mask to nothing and then set it to first person view and set the depth to a value higher than the main camera's depth which is in this case just one basically this way this camera will be rendering on top of the main camera put it on top over here and set the mp5k layer to the first person view yes to change all children the idea here is that every item that we can see from the first person view will have this first person view layer it will be rendered by the weapons camera instead of the main camera go into your main camera and you're gonna want to uh, set the calling mask to be everything but the first person view you can see it's already ma made here by default because this is part of the uh, package export of course uh, go to your weapons camera and set the near clipping plane to be a really small value something like this so you can see the entire weapon instead of having it uh, clipped like this and again select the mp5k pivot place your weapon in a decent coordinates you know a decent view something like this maybe feels sufficient I don't know this looks decent enough yes and here we go we have our nice first person view basically this thing will look pretty nice with all of the animations, the sway, the modular motion and stuff like that. Uh, for now also, let's delete the other 
three raycasts, uh, the three raycasts that we added in in the last part. Those were just for uh, demonstration purposes. You can delete those, just use the one raycast. And here we go. We have a first person controller with a weapon model. It's going to be a nice basis to add in into the future. And that is it basically. Hopefully you follow the rest of the tutorial series and hopefully you learn something from it. Thank you and goodbye.